Hello! Welcome! It's Emma Holmes coming in from Rockstar HQ and I am coming in today to chat to you about something that I explored a little bit on a Facebook Live recently and it's something that I want to explore a little bit more because I know that it's something that's coming up for lots and lots and lots of entrepreneurs all of the time and that is that they feel uncomfortable with self going Facebook Live and they are feeling like they are looking too fat, too old, to haven't had their hair done, need to be perfect, dead, 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 dead. And you know, one of them that I get so, so often is that they're just not comfortable in themselves and that judgment of self is causing them to be visible within their business and particularly not want to do um, any Facebook Lives uh, because, you know, the, they think that they're going to be judged, they are worried about the still images. Now, right, judgy McJudge face. We need to stop this because we are much more critical of ourselves than anybody else in the whole wide world is ever going to be of us. Our self-talk can be so mean and cruel and horrible that you would never, ever, ever say that out loud to anybody else. I know that you wouldn't. You know, the things that are going on inside of your head insofar as what you look like and, you know, what people are going to think and da 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 you would never vocalise that. You would never language that to anybody else because it would feel mean, it would feel uncalled for, it would feel rude, it would feel horrible. So we need to make sure that what we're doing is that we're not causing a whole situation for ourselves that is uncomfortable and horrible. Here, I am not coming down from the mountains, okay? I am not coming down from the mountains going, you know, I've always been super comfortable with how I've looked, I've been thin, I've been this, I've been that, I've been the other. Now, I've done Facebook Lives at a point where I've been almost five stone heavier than I am today, and I'm doing Facebook Lives now. And that isn't to say that, you know, you have to be in any way thinking about losing weight. That doesn't mean that you have to think about changing who you are. Absolutely not. What it means is that you've got to stop restricting yourself and the growth of your business because you're horrible to yourself. That's the top and bottom of it. You've got to make sure that you are looking at how you can best serve and support people. So I mentioned and I touched on the fact that you're much more judgmental of yourself than anybody else is of you. Now, I could sit here and micro pick myself right now. I've got a couple of spots right now, which you probably didn't notice immediately or didn't care about if you did notice. Okay. Hair could do with a colouring. Yeah. Do we agree? Yeah. Um, I could have put a different top on. I could have wore different colours. I could have put some makeup on. I haven't worn makeup for a little while. Um, I could have done this. I could have done that. I could have done the other. Um, and that could have been how I presented here today. But actually, you're not interested particularly on micro-focusing on what I look like. You're listening to this video and you've got three and a half minutes into this video because you want the content of that video. You want to listen to what I'm going to say around this particular topic. It's something that is of interest of you. You're not micro-picking me apart. You're not, you know, sitting there and going, oh, well, look, her eyebrows. Her eyebrows aren't quite right. She's a little bit spotty. She needs her hair done. She could have worn a different top to that. Yeah, she's just not doing it right, is she? Absolutely. You know what? We connect with people by them being people and by them being themselves. And I'm sure you see this and hear this all of the time. You know, just be yourself. Go on, be yourself. And actually, when you're uncomfortable with self, that's a little bit difficult and that's a little bit hard. Now, I'm not going to get into the whole kind of body confidence movement here. I'm not going to get into, you know, whether or not you should focus on your health and wellness. Well, absolutely, you should focus on your health and wellness because you are the biggest asset in your business. That doesn't mean that you have to lose weight before you do anything. That doesn't mean that it has to, you have to look a certain way or that your future has to look a certain way. That's not how this is. This is about you actually removing the judgment from yourself because other people are not viewing you in the same way as you view yourself. The story that I usually um, jump into around this one is that um, when I, about 
probably about a year or a year and a half ago, um, I asked for a new Facebook header from my graphic design. Can we have something poo, something new, something exciting, something babby, blah, 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 blah. You know, we want to have this, this new look on that Facebook header. And, you know, we talked about the concept and off she went and uh, designed this header. And I was like, I absolutely adore the concept of that. Why did you use that fit picture? Why did you use that picture with all of those chins? I had all of those chins. I had many chins. And she was like, I didn't see that. I didn't notice that. That wasn't my focal point on, um, you know, bringing that picture together. What I see in that picture is I see vibrant eyes. I see, you know, a big smile. I see excitement. I see, you know, the, the, the zing that you have. And, you know, for me, immediately I saw the chins. All right. I saw how many chins I had on that image. She saw something very, very different. So we've got to look at this a little bit objectively and go, are people really that shallow that they're judging me like that? And actually, do I want those people in my audience if they are that shallow that they are judging me like that? The majority of people are not. The majority of people are not judgy McDudge faces. The majority of people aren't sitting there going, you know, you are... Um, you're too fat to be on Facebook Live. You're too fat to tell me about this. You're too old to tell me about this. Oh, please go away and get your hair done before you do this. Now, um, it is, you know, it is what it is in that this is something that we have to um, start to think about and that we have to start to uh, look at head on because if we're stalling our business because of self, then we're getting in our own way. And that's just not comfortable and that's just not cool and that's just not good, is it? You know, when you think about it, and that brings another layer of feeling guilty that you're not allowing your business to flourish into its own potential. It brings, you know, you beating yourself up because you're not making that forward progress. It's, you know, it's a really heavy vibration to be in. So I would love it if you would start to look at embracing this and start to look at the fact that your audience wants to connect with you because of who you are. Right? There is lots of people out there. That's not to make you wobbly. That's not to make you scared. That's not to say, you know, there's there's um, there's too much competition. I shouldn't do this because that's BS. You know, what it is about is that the right people will connect with you. And the right people will not give a shit about, you know, the things that I sat and picked out on myself here. You know, the fact that I've got a good response and like that. I'm really right they're not going to sit and nitpick at that that's just not how it's going to be they are interested in you delivering your message they are interested in how you can help them you know yeah it might sound really selfish but they're interested in what's in it for them and you need to get really focused on the fact that you know your service is more important and puts a deeper fire in your belly than your fear provides resistance so it is important that we start to look at how to get off how can we do it? Right, well, number one, I always suggest to people that they practice because the best way of getting out there and doing the thing and getting confident doing the thing is by doing the thing. So I have, you know, one-to-one -one clients who I suggest that they open up a secret group on Facebook. Um, they pop me in it if they want to and they practice live streaming. They just practice getting comfortable in front of the camera. So you can do that by setting up a secret group in Facebook. Nobody else can see it. Nobody else can find it. And you can start to practice streaming Facebook lives into there and just becoming comfortable with the camera, becoming conversational, perhaps, you know, recording what you've done that morning or that day. You can also go out and, you know, record maybe 10 videos on your phone and with no expectation of using them with no you know bells and whistles attached to them again just getting comfortable in front of the camera another great thing that you can do is that you can you know grab a piece of paper this one's got a whole load of notes on it but you can put it over the screen where you see your picture you know right now as I'm talking to you I can see myself now I'm used to that and I'm quite fine with that but what you can do is you can blue tack some paper over the screen so that you can't see yourself if that's something that is an issue for you or if it's your phone you can grab a post-it note and stick it over and not be able to see yourself that's totally fine if at first you aren't able to deal with comments while you're live again that's okay you can explain to people that you'll come back and talk about the comments later I have some clients who say you know can I really read um, from a script, can I have points to keep me on track, I get really nervous, right, there's absolutely no reason why, if I was sat here like this, 
that you would think any less of me if I had some notes on this nice little clipboard and I was just going through it and I was talking about it. My daughter does a Facebook live, uh, a Facebook video every now and again that's called Rockstar TV and she makes a point of having a purpose and doing that and you know she does it as if she's reading the news. You know news readers have always had the little shake of the papers and they're there with their notes on it and with their prompts on it and things. That's okay. It isn't unprofessional to read from something. It isn't unprofessional to have notes. You know, you get to the point where you probably will be able to wing it and you'll be able to go on and just chat and just talk and that'll be totally fine. But at the beginning, if you need notes, have notes. Another thing, think about your camera positioning. So, you know, if you're not comfortable with how you are looking on camera, make sure that you are slightly above the camera so if you if you're thinking about you know if you go let's have a look down a little bit then the camera comes down to you so immediately you are less jowly it's a fact you know if you're looking in at the camera from above then you're going to have more chinage as you come in so you want to be slightly lower than the camera looking up at it and it, it tilted down towards you so that they get a better frame of your face it's easy to do the thing as well lighting suddenly you know i don't look as zingy the dog coming to bark i don't look as zingy and as bright and as ready to go but if i put my lights on then i can have a different look and it brings a different perspective to the video i can come in close or i can go further away and when you think about how you position yourself, you know, it isn't about it being this huge lighting rig. I've got two lamps on my desk. That's all I've got in here. And I just turn them on and give them a swizzle, move them around. Look, like I'm, I'm more exposed there. Oh, that's a little bit of a scary look, isn't it? Um, if I move it back and that light is then facing away from me, um, then that is giving a, a better look across the screen. So there's little things that you can do to make sure that, you know, you are feeling as confident as you can. You know, if you feel more confident with, you know, your um, certain top on, with a certain, you know, way, then do that, work with your confidence. But the key here is to practice. And please, please, please don't let your own judgy mcjudge face self-talk fairy stop you from serving your audience and growing your business i hope that one's been super useful for you jump into the comments and let me know if there's anything specific that you want me to go through if there's any additional things that you want help and advice on around this if it has inspired you to go live let me know in the comments because i would love 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 to hear that um as always make sure that you are subscribed to the channel hit the little bell so that you get notifications every time i upload a video and on that note, I do try and keep my videos two under 15 minutes long where possible because there is power in the 15. I'm talking about the Rockstar 15 quite a lot recently because if you spend 15 minutes a day doing something that helps to progress your business, that helps to progress a project, that helps to progress your health and wellness, then across the year that is 91 and a quarter hours. 91 and a quarter extra hours that you have managed to do by fitting in little 15 minute slices of work towards whatever it is you're working on. So I hope that this has been a useful use of your 15 minute slice. Have an ace day and I'll speak to you soon.